Hey, good morning, more Medic One. Today we've got a little uh, two-stroke hedge trimmer on the bench, and uh, the complaint is the primer bulb won't prime. You can hear it trying. I put a new bulb in it just to eliminate the possibility of the bulb being an issue, and it is not priming. Let me show you possible issues. The number one most common issue is going to be a clogged fuel filter. But I've already replaced this one as part of the service. What you do is you take the fuel filter off and you apply pressure with your vacuum pump here and it's going to test the integrity of this fuel line all the way to the carburetor. It should hold pressure, you know, a couple of PSI, and it should hold indefinitely. If you have leakage, then you know without a shadow of a doubt that you have a pinhole in your line or the needle in the seat in the carburetor is not holding. At this point, let's go ahead and remove the four screws that hold this primer base on. And as you can tell right here, the air filter case is going to keep us from getting to this screw here. So I'm gonna have to loosen the carburetor just a little. You don't have to take it all the way off. Just enough to clear it. That should be good right there. Let's go ahead and disconnect our fuel lines. And just kind of fold those out of the way. And then take your screws out that hold the primer in. Go ahead and carefully lift off the primer cover. You may have to remove some screws first. Just don't lose those little bitty jokers. Like I said, my primer bulb is new, and we have one more screw to take out right in the middle here. Let's go ahead and lift this off the carburetor. The gaskets might come with this piece, and as we can tell, they did. That's okay. We're gonna inspect the fuel pump diaphragm, and we're gonna test this primer base to see if the check valves are leaking. Go ahead and inspect the carburetor. Here's your inlet screen. It'll focus. It's clean. It's got just, I mean, microscopic piece of dirt in it. And that's exactly what that screen is for. Lightly, and I'm talking lightly, blow that out with compressed air. And just check all the rest of your holes. Here is the main jet adjustment or the main mixture adjustment. It has a little plastic uh, plug in it. Whenever we get it all running, uh, we may or may not have to adjust the carburetor. Probably not, but let's just go ahead and let's test this uh, primer base and see if it's leaking. There are two check valves in this primer base that we need to air check, one here and one there. This one is super easy to test and let me show you how to do that with a piece of fuel line. Basically just hook you a piece of fuel line to the nipple there. And then we're going to literally, you, you'll hear it whistle. 
you should be able to suck, but not blow. So this check valve here is working. And the other way that we're going to test this is the same fuel line. And then we're gonna put it right over that check valve. should be able to blow and not suck. And I'm able to blow and suck both ways. This check valve is not working. Now you can buy this $20 primer base. However, the whole carburetor is not much more than just this piece. But if you're lucky enough like me, you have a stash of 20 years worth of old carburetors that probably have a good primer base on one. I've got a good used one here. It's a little dirty. I'll clean it up before I put it on. But however, if you guys don't want to buy this, you can always go to your local lawnmower shop and I guarantee you they've got a carburetor hoard just like mine for this exact purpose. And they'll probably just give it to you. If not, they'll probably sell it for pennies. But let's just make sure, you know, that they're the same and they look to be identical. Let's go ahead and clean this up and we'll throw it on and we'll see if it will prime. So let's go ahead and set our primer base back down on the carburetor. And go ahead and tighten your attaching center screw. Go ahead and reattach your fuel lines here. And lastly, we'll reinstall the primer bulb and bracket. When you go to tighten these, you don't have to kill it. I've seen mechanics or homeowners tighten these down so freaking tight that it just warps the whole primer base and strips out carburetor uh, mounting holes. It's just not good. They don't have to be just gorilla tight. These heads of these screws actually have a serration on the bottom side. that helps to grip and keep them from backing out. Alrighty, we are primed up, running, and ready to go. Whenever you press the primer, the engine should die because it's gonna make it starve for fuel. We got that little hedge trimmer going one more time. If this helped you out, I want you to please smash that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll get all my new videos. And guys, we will catch you on the next one. Have a great day.